do you know the story of like the Amityville house? No. Like they did them so dirty. Like you know Amityville Horror, like the movie. Mm-mm. You never heard of Amityville Horror? That was like so. That was like the first like haunted house movie. Mm-hmm. They made it in like the '80s or whatever. Mm-hmm. So like in the '70s, there was a guy. He freaking um, his name was what was his name? His name was Robert DeFeo, and at 3:15 in the morning. He just randomly heard voices in his head and killed his entire family. What the fuck? Like he killed his mom, dad, his two brothers, two sisters, killed them all. And then he went to he went to jail and he tried to plead insanity, but it was like, nah, you got six years, six life sentences. But he he tried to tell him like, yo, there's something speak telling me in my head like, kill your family. So I'm like, they're like, okay, that's crazy. And it's and it's also crazy because it's like, and that was the first, you know, um. So so basically, after all that happened, right? 13 months later, a family moved into that crib, which is crazy. Like, they didn't do nothing to the crib. They didn't tear it down. Somebody moved into that house. Like, they literally sold the house. And the family was confused because it was a nice crib. They was wondering why it was so cheap. So they thought they got it for a steal. But they went into the crib. They said they brought a... They were not really religious, but they brought a a priest to, like, bless the house. And they said the priest went upstairs and heard, like, somebody say, get out. And then he told them, like, yo, don't make a... Put a bedroom upstairs. They didn't listen. Bro, they said they heard, they would hear, like, mumbles, footsteps, doors opening and closing. They said they used to see, like, they would turn the heat up in the house, but it would never get hot. Like, it would just stay cold. What? They, they would have the fire on. It would just be mad cold in the crib. And the dad said, like, he would wake up in the middle of the night every night at 3.15 a.m. and on the dot. And he would see, like, shadowy figures. And, like, he'll have, like, uh, sleep paralysis where he can't move. And he'll hear, like, his daughter's bed upstairs, like, moving up and down. Like, somebody's, like picking the bed up and going like this but he couldn't move and he said like his freaking wife like levitated out this out of her bed or whatever and after like this happened in like within a month bro and then they dipped after that it was like yeah, oh, hell yeah no. exactly like dip and then that's when like the whole like you know the the warrens like from the conjuring like the two like the wife mm-hmm. and the the husband they went in there did their whole paranormal thing and that's what started their whole journey to becoming like the paranormal ghost adventurers oh, people was that house it's the amity thing yeah but you know what i heard about them bro about the warrens bro like the whole ghost thing i heard they faked it i heard everything like from the conjuring to that amityville house to the poltergeist all that stuff is fake bro what that mean like it's not like you know how they say it's based off a true story yeah it wasn't based off a true story they was they just stretched it like they stretch so the whole. Are the Warrens like real people? They're real people, but they're like, like con artists, low key. Like they just sold the story to like Warner Bros and all that, making it seem like they're like these big ghost hunters, this, that, and the third, and that they've seen all these demonic things. But really, they just created stories out of it just to make money. What? Like think about it like this, right? Like the Amityville house, right? So what happened was none of that stuff happened. Like with the priest, none of that stuff happened. With the the people levitating, none of it happened. What? They because they went to the the lawyer of the guy, but all the stuff that with the murders that happened though, all oh, that, happened, that happened. That happened, yeah. So you think that guy lied? Who the that guy lied? Oh, there's something in my head. Yeah, yeah, you no, think no, no. He was pre like he was trying to act like he was insane, but he was. I really... think yeah, I think he because yo even to this day like before like he didn't he never got the death penalty. It was actually he would always say. Like, like, I think he was crazy, though, because, like, they would give him his food and he'll be like, you know, I, I killed everybody in my house, but I just never got my grandmother. And he said, I'm going to hell because I never got my grandmother. And that's the reason why I think he's going to hell, because he did kill he the grandma. Kill her. Wow. So he killed. He said he got everybody else. But he's like, yeah, Man, no, I just didn't get my grandma. No, he's crazy. So that's why. So I think he is crazy. Yeah. But the the his lawyer was trying to well, help well, who helped him get like plead insane or whatever. I, I heard he was writing a book on the side about it. And like the family that moved into the crib, they were low on money. So they was like, all right, you know, we'll help you like write a book. But like, they didn't like his offer of how much like he was giving, he was giving them. They were saying like, he's probably saying like 75, 25. And then they found another person to like write a book about the, their experiences. And that's what created the whole series of the Amityville horror movies and stuff was that person who wrote that book. And that's like the famous book that you see everywhere mm. because they give 50 50. So they were just lying about the whole thing. Like right. with the conjuring house, that was all a lie, bro. I thought that ha- really happened. Niggas, niggas just did that, bro. bro. They said like the person who lived in the conjuring house, like the actual person that lived there, she said 
she wasn't being haunted or nothing like that. She just was mad because everybody used to come to her crib and trying to see if it was haunted. Like people what? used to sneak on her land and bring cameras and this, that, and third. But really, nothing was going on. And like the whole story with the with the with the conjuring was like the house was cursed by a witch that used to kill and eat her ki- and her children, and she cursed the house. But really. Like that lady, the lady that they talk about, she's real, but she didn't kill nobody. She didn't kill no kids. She wasn't what she was actually a nice lady. Wow. And like she was buried, like she, I think she died in like the early 1900s, and she's like buried somewhere on the property. But like that's because it's her land. It's not like she's haunting the haunting the place. Wow. So all this stuff is fake. And even I heard about like Ed Lorraine Lauren, Ed Lorraine Warren, and them. Like they're just like freaking con artists. I heard he was like like a like a pedophile, bro. What? Like he grew Warren? Yes, like the, 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 the Ed the Warren, guy. the guy, bro. Like I heard he groomed this one girl. She was like 16. She was living with them and she got pregnant by his kid and they had like an abortion because they had they didn't want it to look yeah, bad in their yeah, image. Right. But I'm like, bro, I, this whole time I thought this was real, bro. Wow, these niggas just be selling stories. They was just selling like they literally, <laughs> bro. Like okay, granted, some of the stuff might be real. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe Maybe like the knocking. Maybe there might be some spirits walking around. But, but like people levitating. Yeah. And, but and, he and, stretched. Like he would. Like he would. He had story writers. Like he didn't have no journalist. He didn't have no like like people that be on the news. Like be around him documenting. No, he had story writers, and he'd be like, "All right, just make up the rest." What? Yes, bro. I was. That was like, nah. There's no way this is true. Like my whole life is a lie, bro. This is all a lie. Like, is this all? <laughs> wow. Them niggas really just. They, they scammed us. They scammed niggas, bro. Like, all that stuff. They made hella bread off of that. Bro, shit. stupid, bro. That's like a billion dollar series, bro. The Conjuring series? Yeah, bro. That's like nine movies. Yeah, they tweaked. Like, bro. And, like, that's... Nobody ever knew about it. They all thought it was like, yeah. Because they say it's based off a true story. And then at the end, they always show video proof of it. Nah, bro. They really... They used oh, to... Oh, yeah, they do, right? Nah, bro. That junk's not real. I don't know about that stuff, though. That one... Might be different, but still, like, if you fake that much, what else? Like, just imagine if you lie about this, what else are you lying about? Yeah, bro. They said they did 10,000 investigations. If you did 10,000, if you did an investigation a day, that would take 27 years. They haven't, they weren't doing it for that long. Mm-hmm. Like, they started, may, I mean, maybe it might add up, but like, granted, the only famous, they only had like a handful of famous ones. Mm-hmm. So like the other ones, they was probably just doing some BS. Because mm-hmm. you know, the, the whole thing with the wife is like she could talk to Ghost. Mm. What if she was faking? Nah, that's crazy. That's OD. I was like, <laughs> that's lo- crazy. I'll be they so. They really came up off of that shit. <laughs> Bro, they came up OD. That's OD. like the biggest finesse ever. Yeah, that is. Like, just, I'm, just telling the story. Literally. And motherfuckers just telling uh, somebody else's story and now that somebody else's story and now they made a movie off of it of a of a your likeliness of your story and now literally you, you just don't gotta do nothing anymore exactly and i feel like they, they made that's it that's crazy it made it easier for like the amityville house because like they had like a backstory to it so right. like a reason it why already, it could be true it was already like famous type shit yeah because somebody freaking got mur- like, murdered like there was people yeah. murdered in this crib like yeah. there was a like there was like they document like, like when they went over there and they documented it they they brought like a camera crew and they took a pic. They got like a you know they put cameras around the crib, yeah. so they got a picture of like a like a a boy, a little boy, and they thought it was like one of the little brothers that he killed, but it was really the one of the cameramen that was just walking out of the thing. Wow. And people, but like nobody ever questioned it, so nobody ever went back and looked at it. So they, mm-hmm. but they was running with it like, yeah, now nah, look, we just caught a ghost because like it was like like clear HD, like it looked like a real kid, like his eyes was glowing. But the only reason why the eyes glowing because it was like a flash. Mm-hmm. There was a light. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, that's like OD. Like, like, bro, we be doing all this little ghost hunting shit. There's really nothing be in there. Yeah, nah, there's nothing. Like, there. come on, like, yo. That's tough. Like, come on, bro. They really cooked this, bro. Like, I, hey, man, maybe ghosts aren't real. I don't know. But I ain't. You think so, bro? <sighs> that was hard to think. It's like, hard to th- You know what? I don't think it's to a point where. Where, like, they're possessing you. Yeah, where they're possessing you and, like. You know, levitating and th- maybe throwing stuff, maybe because I I, t- I was telling Jordan the other day, freaking there be stuff moving around my crib all the time. I don't know what happens to it, mm-hmm. so I don't know. But I don't know about all of that. But maybe like seeing things, like maybe seeing a little figure walk by, and then oh, there was another time where I think they was doing a movie for like <clears throat> it was like it was like I think it was based on like the Poltergeist or whatever, and they had like real footage of like there was a cemetery. And there was like a, a woman in a white dress walking across like a cemetery. It looked like a ghost. 
But the whole time, it was that little girl that was living with them. He, Ed Lorraine was like, yo, can you go to the cemetery and walk like walk around it in a white dress? And they got it on film. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again? So, right? So I guess there was... I forgot what movie it was. But there was a movie where there was like a haunted cemetery. Right. And they set up a camera. And they got footage of a woman in all white, like a ghost woman walking around the cemetery. Right. But the whole time, remember when I told you there was like a, a young 16 year old girl that used to live with them that he like, yeah. like groomed and stuff and had sex with. Yeah. And even his wife. Knew it was that girl. It was that girl because Ed was like, yo, can you go around this cemetery and walk around it with the, with the dress on? That's crazy work. That's crazy, bro. That, and that was like the best proof that they ever had. That was the biggest thing they had other than that one picture that they debunked. Everything else like. That's crazy work. That's what I'm saying, but like, where they... Wait, re- hold on. So that girl that they was grooming, yeah. that he was grooming, mm-hmm. the wife knew about it too? Yes. There's some weird Bro, they said, she used to say bro. that he used to beat her like really badly. The girl? Yeah, not the not the little girl, or like her. the wife. The yeah, wife. the wife. Like, what? Ed used to beat his wife and like, he was a terrible person. Wow. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.